Hey, you ever been to Chancellor Park? That's where I live. My name is Tevin Dillard. I live in Chancellor Park. I mow lawns, mowing, edging, grass cutting legend. I sure am glad to join me here on this podcast. I want to let you know what's going on in my neck of the woods. Now, I started out years ago on the YouTubes and then the TikToks and the Instagrams now and the whatnots. I got the websites, the tavendiller.com, but right now, I want to clue you into what's happening in my neck of the woods on the Tavendiller podcast. You here? I'm here. I'm glad you joined me. Now I'm going to send it over to myself. This is like the pre-introduction, but let's get on to the real show today. I'm glad you joined me here. Bank, bank. Hey, y'all guys. Welcome to the Tavin Dillard Podcast. Season 9's episode 13's me. I'm Tavin Dillard. I got Tavin's Lawn Care Services, mowing, edging, grass cutting legend. That's what they call me, or that's what I call me. Welcome to this old season of the Tavin Dillard Podcast, and we getting close to the end of this season of the podcast and if you know as well as I do about how them seasons go in the Tap and Diller podcast, then you know that uh, it's about time for the Q&A, where y'all send in questions, and I use that last uh, episode of the season to answer them. So I provide the A, and y'all provide the Qs to the Q&A, like that way. So anyhow, uh, there are a couple ways you can do that. Uh, Tap and Diller to gmail.com. That's going to be in the show notes today that's where you email most folks do it that way but in the subject line put you know season nine q a so i know what it's for and then uh you can also text me some of y'all do that 501-322-6249 don't matter know how about that email address and number i'll put it in the show notes you can check it out later when you got a minute when you're done walking your dog or you know, parking a tractor or uh, getting your groceries done or jogging half a mile. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know where you're listening to this to, but it's like a radio show. Uh, and you know about radio shows, they for your ears. You listen to them. So you somewhere usually doing something else, but maybe you just uh, sitting sitting in the easy chair, you know, or maybe you're on the porch. I don't know. But all I'm saying is you ain't got to get up and go email me or send me a text message right now. But if you have a question for the Q&A, it's about time to start sending them my way. And there's a couple ways to do that. And now you have that. And it'll just be there waiting on you when you're ready to get after it like that. So that's how it is. But hey, there's bigger, there's bigger fish to fry uh, today or bigger solar happenings to chat about, if you know what I mean. Yesterday was the solar reclance. It was when the moon and the sun reclapsed. So the sun's like a big moon, and the moon's like, bang, bang, not today. I'm over here saying, excuse me. And then all of a sudden, when they do that in completely, totalitarily, you've got the solar reclapse. And that's what we saw. And the reclance. And you know what happened last week? I put a video out. I mean, that, that completely explained it. Basically, just pure, pure science in a video. And uh, it got some uh, attention on the interweb. And then uh, I decided, hey, you know what? If people want to celebrate this reclance so bad, uh, let's keep the party going all year long. So then I put up a shirt, you know, called Solar Reclance. It's science. You know, I... I got a couple new shirts coming out this spring. This one was not expected. It was not planned at all uh, too much before it actually launched uh, just because of the interest there. I didn't, I didn't realize how many people were interested in science like out of way, you know, but they was. So anyhow, uh, that's available to keep the solar reclance party going all year long. Uh, and you'll see a link in the show notes for that T-shirt and also just a link for all them shirts underneath that if you want to see the Crow Funyun shirt, or Early Bird Gets the Perm, or Tavins Lawn Care Services shirt, Mowing Edge and Grass Cutting Legend, or Burger Shed. You know, I eat there. I also play on the softball team. That season's starting later next month, you know, in the merry month of May. The other thing I'm going to put in the show notes today, y'all guys, before we get going on all that, is the uh, tickets to the Wichita Falls, Texas show. Uh, do you see that available? Um, that's going to happen on May 31s. And that's at 7 p.m. at the Wichita Falls Theater there. And um, VIP tickets, they, they sit you a little closer to the front of the show. But then there's an after-party show 
uh, chocolate milk donuts and I'm doing a little more talking. So there's all, uh, all that that's gonna be in the show notes today. So there's a lot. I mean, I mean, if we talking about, if we trying to make a list, which we ain't, there's a lot going on. And so I would say, if you, if you went to the show notes, like say you were like, doot to doot, I'm on the interweb, where am I going to go hang out today? Well, how about the show notes of Tavin's latest podcast episode? Well, if you did, per se, do that, you would find a link to the Solar Rook Launch shirt. You'd find a link to all my other shirts, hats, hoodies, all that kind of thing. You'd find my email address, tabinmillardillard at gmail.com. That's how you know how to send me a question for the Q&A. Or you, you want to text a question to me? 501-322-6249. You'll find that in the show notes. The thing about that is, let me know even in that text message, like, hey, this is for the Q&A, because folks will ask me a question, you know, pretty often anyhow, but if I don't know it's for the Q&A, I might just text you an answer back, but you're like, no, 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 I don't need, that was for the podcast episode. Use it for that kind of thing. So that's all I'm going to be down there. Uh, what else going to be down there? Uh, personal video greetings. I'll put the link for that. People have been buying them for birthdays and that kind of thing. And then uh, Tavin's Bacon Bag. I'm getting a couple more bags this week, so I may be uh, eating a little more bacon. I'm looking forward to it. So that link's going to be in there, too. And then next Tuesday, y'all guys, uh, and if you listen to this on the day it comes out, you listen on April the 9th. Uh, but next Tuesday, the 16th, I have a very special announcement. And I can't say it till the 16th. And I ain't nothing to say yet, except it's a very special announcement. It's something I ain't never done before like this at all. I mean, it's a different level of stuff to announce, and that's going to be a week from today, so I hope you tune in, uh, and I'll have it. I mean, that's when I'm making, I, I'm probably posting a video about it next Tuesday, but I mean, this podcast, it come out pretty early on the 16th, so this may, if you listen to it when it come out next Tuesday, you might be one of the very, very first to know about this special announcement. So anyhow, I mean, if you already listened to the podcast, which I guess you are, because here we are then you probably going to hear about it anyway next week. But just know uh, there's an announcement coming. So you can check the show notes. I mean, that's what we call the housekeeping. But, buddy, I got to tell you about water ski day and fishing clips, stuff that went on this week in town. We're still recovering from the excitement of having a zip line in the trailer park. And if you didn't, I ain't listened to that, you can pause this one and go we'll listen to last week's episode. Last two weeks, I've been talking about the, the zip line. Two weeks ago, it was on its way. And last week is here. And well, you know, one thing led to another and that led to something else and all of a sudden there's a little bit of chaos and a little bit of injuries. Uh, actually, I'd say probably more than a little bit of injuries. So anyhow, uh, we, we had the excitement of the zip line in the trailer park and now we're dealing with the sadness of losing it already. Now, I don't know that it's forever, but I think we got to go back to the drawing board like that away. Uh, we have to go different angle instead of having it stop right at the side of my trailer. That was part of the problem. JT Whitlow creased the side my trailer, pretty good with them big old feet of his. Uh, it went from his side of the trailer park across the main, you know, gravel area between the trailers and then all the way to mine. You know, that's the zip line went crossways from his to mine. And, you know, that ain't a bad angle necessarily, but you can't have it dump off right at the side of my trailer. It's got to kind of, it's got to kind of curve somewhere else. Or I don't know. But anyway, how's the, how's the, how's the weather where you are? If you was in Arkansas, you know, that's where I'm from, uh, the, the reclants, you, I mean, you know how, that was in the path of the total reclants, but uh, now here we are day after, is the sun out where you at? It's been nice for the most part in my neck of the woods. Rance Farnhart, he was tuning up a boat out at the lake that his folks jerried on a civil choir, and they's looking to sell at their flea market. You know, Rance's parents, they owned a flea market in town, and they in the market for just about anything. I mean, you can't you can't uh, pigeonhole them on one thing. Oh yeah, we have flea market that just sells car parts or nothing like that. Uh, or we just a flea market that sells old magazines. Oh no, buddy, you can dream it up. They probably had it or they at one time or another or they got it still. But uh, they they get some big things sometimes. So anyways, Jerry Don and Sybil, Sybil got a hold of a, a old boat and Rance is like, well, I you know I've worked on them before. I can mess with it and what. Anyhow. Turns out Rance liked this boat enough to go ahead and make his folks an offer on it. Like, hey, can I just buy this thing from you? I think it's going to work out for me out here on the lake kind of thing. One thing led to another. We had a big water ski day out there on the lake going with Myron's paddle boats that are finally ready to go. You know how Myron had that fundraiser? And they selling all kind of things to try to raise money for these paddle boats. And it's going to be like this thing. Like, Myron, I'm telling you right now. 
there's a lot of things that he's done that you would probably categorize as underwhelming in his life, like they they ain't very whelming. Uh, but this one, hey, if this goes, I mean, he got the paddle boats. They do the work for you. Now, just get out the way, Myron, and let people paddle and, you know, collect the money kind of thing because uh, people are interested in it. Myron, I mean, I, I didn't get into all the, the numbers with him, but I know uh end of the day, he ended up with two paddle boats out there. Him and Rance got some deal going because, you know, Rance on that property uh, where the where fishing clips is, it's right next to the lake. And then, uh, you know, Rance, uh, Myron got the little dock or whatever you think where you got to get in the water and, and step into the paddle boats. That area, you know, basically like renting the space but using the lake and they, they in you know, business agreement on that. So that's all I'm saying. But he was raising that money. Well, I think it's like $15 an hour or something for paddle boat, and that's what him and Rance uh, decided to charge. It's a good idea unless you already got a boat because if you got your own boat, you're going in the lake for free anyway. You know, that's how that is. I mean, you got to paddle with And then if you're in a boat, if you got a motor on it, then you're good to go. Or if you just got some oars, you can paddle your own boat. But these ones are paddle with a pedal. Maybe they called pedal boats, y'all. I ain't sure because you just pedal in the right way. But anyways, they the new boats in town. And I'll call them paddle boats for now because I don't know better. <coughs> I guess the paddle boats are paddle boats. What are we calling it? They more relaxing is, is all I can figure. I mean, you ain't got to worry about hauling a motor to the lake and you ain't got to worry about dropping a paddle in the water. Um, you just got to have a couple feet to pedal with. One thing I learned to do a number of years ago though is water ski. I might not have brought it up a lot. I don't have the chance to water ski much, but uh, the way I look at it, if you know how to stand up, you pretty much know how to water ski. The boat's doing most of the work. I mean, you can't water ski without a boat. You just you just try to stand on lumber and water, and that's just that ain't that ain't that ain't gonna happen. Well, Rance, you know, he out there on the lake, he spent a lot of time on the water. He missed their safety first out there. And I get it. I mean, it's his livelihood, and he's seen some stuff that could have been uh, avoided if, if people know better. Like today, it was Shane and Cheryl Grubbs out there with a doggy jalapeno, and jalapeno made a mess. I mean, I mean, he he did what you'd think he did when I say jalapeno made a mess. He messed right there on the ground. Rusty Tidwell came so close to stepping in it, but Rance hollered at him, and then he hollered at Cheryl to clean up after a dog. You can't have your dog running around the lake just doing his business everywhere, and people out there trying to enjoy the day and stepping in it or... May, boy, you don't want them to lay a picnic out and sit in it. So a couple of fell fellas out there today, they had life jackets in their trucks. A few of us, we ain't got our own life jackets, and Rance takes care of us. He has some used ones handy. He wasn't about to take one out the bait and tackle shop, you know, fishing clips with the tag still on it and let us wear a new one. I mean, that wasn't on his radar at all, and that's fine with me. So, you know, it's kind of business, but mostly pleasure. We out there hanging out on the water. Rance is testing that boat out, you know, that he wants to buy from his folks that are going to put it up at the flea market but he's pretty sure he wants to buy it it seemed like it was in good shape like out of way donnie wayne chambliss looked it over you know he's got a repair shed by the lake just 100 yards or so from fishing clips rance uh, owns fishing clips he wasn't doing no haircuts today just boat testing that's why it's called clips and some of y'all know that already because he got hair clippers out there and he cut hair on the patio but he serves fish in a restaurant there and of course people are buying bait and tackle in the shop there well in the boat that Rance is testing out is uh, Rance, of course, Rusty Tidwell, Myron Curtis, Russell Tucker, and me. We got our life jackets all snapped on. Every one of us can water ski. It might surprise you as accident prone as My Myron is that uh, he's pretty agile on them skis. He's a real water baby like out of way. And we all pretty good. We, we know how to do it. Rance is mostly concerned about driving the boat to see how it handles. He ain't really, it ain't all about a day of pleasure. He's, you know, he's thinking about making per decent sized purchase. So he got to test it out and make sure it do what he want it to do. Because uh, it might be his soon. So he want to make sure it's all checked out. So Russell Tucker, he goes first. And being on skates, that's different than being on a tube. You know them inner tubes folks will drag behind a boat? The boat driver, the one who's driving the boat's in charge. You can flip them folks on the tubes uh, whenever you're ready to do it. You know, you make a couple circles, you get them waves going, you cut back across them waves, you flip that tube. But on them skis, you're going to have a real hard time flipping a skier. So basically, they go for a while and then kind of let go. That's what Russell did. You know, you just enjoy and cruising on the lake on them, on them skis. It's a perfect day out there. I'm telling you, y'all guys, gorgeous weather, not too hot. That's probably why I didn't realize what I forgot till later. 
So I'm next on the skis. I get out there and you might know I don't love just floating in a body of water where I can't see what's around me, you know, like a pond or a lake or anything could be right by me in there. All kind of things and animals and whatnots underneath that dirty water. And that's why I kind of like the city pool. You know, I can see what's in there. You know, anything that's in there with me, I can see it and I can swim for a while. But a lake, buddy, I'm ready to be standing up on them skis quick. Because once I'm on top of the water, I'm good to go. But just floating with the water moccasin, snapping turtles, alligator gar, maybe a Snickers wrapper or two, no thanks. I ain't about it. And then you know how your imagination run away with you. You feel something on your leg, and that's what happened, buddy. Oh, you can be all kinds of scared. About that time, something brushed my leg, and I'm in the water waiting for rants to get going. You know, I scream, what in the world was that? I'm still trying to fasten on them skis. I got touched by something. About 15 feet away, a branch pops up. I hated it. Hated that. So I get up on them skis. We start going. In the distance, I see Cheryl Grubbs and her daughter Maisley and their doggy Jalapano getting to one of them paddle boats. No big deal. They're going to enjoy a day on the lake. We are too. Fine, fine and dandy. I guess, you know, uh, they must have paid Meyer and paid Rance. I don't know what my business. Rance has Misty Fisdale working at Fishing Clips, and she's kind of running the store while he's on the water, so maybe it's Misty. You know, she's a teenager, got kind of a wild eye, not like really like a lazy eye. She a sharp shooter, and she a hard worker. So, I mean, the eye might look bad, but it worked good. Anyhow, she got Cheryl all squared away on the paddle boat, so that must have been, uh, she, she was uh, the one handling that business. And Myron was happy to see it, because that's making him money, too. He's in the boat with us, and I see him smiling. You know, I ain't in the boat. I'm behind it trying to get these skis on. But I see Myron, I was like, okay, I'm putting two and three together, doing all the math. I say, okay, Mr. Fisdale got Cheryl squared away because Myron and Rance, and that's day business, they both in this boat that Rance is thinking about buying, and here we are. So that's, that's kind of just setting the scene of what's going on. So the lake's bustling, as they say. I'm up on top of the water right where I wanted to be. Finally, like, you know, the boat started, skis is on, we going, all is right with the world, till I see a paddle boat chugging along. As Rance turns the boat, which means I'm turning along behind it because, you know, I'm attached to a rope to the boat, holding the rope, standing on skis. I see Jalapano, that Shane and Cheryl Grubb's doggy that was in the, in the paddle boat with Cheryl and Maisley, and Jalapano jump out of that paddle boat and into the water. So now we got Jalapano in the lake. And by the look on Cheryl's face, she didn't want that to happen. And I really don't know what the dog policy is on the, on the new paddle boats. There probably ain't one, but after today, there's going to be one. So Cheryl looks like she's screaming. I can't hear her because I'm getting pulled behind a boat. But I can see Maisley's crying. Rant sees the whole thing now. We all do. So he slows that boat, which for me means I'm about to sink underwater with the snapping turtles, alligator gars, water moccasins, and snicker wrappers. And I'm closest to that doggy and a jalapeno's doggy paddling. I guess it comes natural, but Cheryl's hollering at us to save her dog. You see what's happening now? Like, Rance can't test the boat out, and now we got emergency on the water, and I'm over here trying to save a doggy, I guess. She's been sick. That's what Cheryl's hollering at us. She's been sick. She can't be in the water. I'm thinking, then why in the world did you bring that dog to the lake to poop on the shore and paddle on the boat, Cheryl? So I push them skis toward the boat, and Rusty swipes him up into uh, Rance's almost boat, you know, the one he's thinking about buying from his dad, uh, Jerry Dawn, and his mom, Sybil. I'm paddling toward Jalapeno, and if it wanted to be saved, it sure wasn't try trying hard to get saved. The thing's running away from me or paddling, doggy paddling away. This ain't no game, Jalapeno. I'm over here trying to help you. Stop. Maisley's in tears. Cheryl's leaning over the paddle boat, reaching probably 25 feet away from that doggy. Like your arms ain't, uh, you ain't Inspector Gadget over there, Cheryl. You ain't gonna reach that dog that far away. But anyway, she's trying. But I do. I reach Jalapeno and I scoop Jalapeno up and I lift it toward Rance's boat. Or almost his boat. You know, I ain't bought it yet. Russell Tucker reached out to take that doggy. It started coughing. Like, you know, I don't know. You know, you ever heard an animal cough? Boy, they start hacking. You're like, boy, this ain't, this ain't just a cough. That kind of doggy cough, it sounds like it makes you want to dry heave yourself. So I'm like turning my head away, trying to hoist this thing in the air, just like somebody take this doggy out the water and into that boat. Well, I turn my head. I hold that doggy up, hoping Russell's going to grab it. And he starts to gag. 
Now, Russell Tucker's gagging. I don't know if it's a full-on dry heave, and then I'm trying not to look. I'm just trying to like keep my head above water and keep this doggy out the water. And you got Cheryl over there screaming too far away to help anybody, and Maisley's crying, and you know Rance has cut the boat motor long ago. While he's gagging, Russell Tucker's gagging. Jalapeno throws up. So my head's turned. I'm steady getting hit on the neck with something. Uh, I guess Jalapano's lunch. I don't know. Myron grabs that doggy. He comes to his senses. Russell grabs the side of the boat to steady himself. I dive under the water to clean off whatever landed on me like I'd rather come eye to eye with a snapping turtle now and stay above water. I swim away and pop up by the paddle boat right when Cheryl Grubbs has fallen into the water. She swim over to Jalapano like she got so sighted or nervous or scared or upset. She, she go into the water off that paddle boat. Now she's swimming over to the boat. Jalapano, is she okay? And like she done in the other boat now. That doggy Jalapano's fine as far as I know. I climb into the paddle boat now. So here I am in a paddle boat with Maisley, Maisley Grubbs. Cheryl's now in Rance's boat, or the boat he's thinking about buying, with her doggy Jalapano, Russell Tucker, Myron Curtis, Rance Farnhart, Rusty Tidwell, all in that boat. What a sight. And then I just felt like a cold, wet finger poke my shoulder. And I look over and Maisley just says, you're red, kind of thing. I guess she done crying now. I guess she think her mama's safe and her dog is safe. And so she got time to just uh, look around and observe the day like that away. And I looked down at my tender little shoulders and I remember what I forgot. Sunscreen. So if I wasn't already done, I was now. You know about that? I got back to shore. Those paddle boats can move pretty good if you motivate it. Cheryl went home with Maisley and Jalapano, and I'm sure Jalapano did what it do best on the way home, tear up the back of that Chevy Cobalt Cheryl's got. And the fellas stayed out, and they worked that boat and worked them skis. I got some of that aloe beer. Rance had a bottle in his office at Inside Fishing Clips. I stayed in the shade after that. And when they was all done, we ate at the restaurant. Rance makes good fishing chips out there, I'm telling you. He told his folks he's going to buy that boat. So Rance got that to look forward to. Did I run into a water moccasin? Or an alligator gar? Or a snapping turtle? Nope. But I kind of wished I had. Any of that would have been better than running into a sick doggy. I think Rance even gave Cheryl a refund on a paddle boat. How's about that? Well, that's all I know, y'all guys. The sun's out. My guns was out. But they got burned. Mostly a fun day, though. I mean, spring is in full swing y'all guys let me know what you're up to let me know how you enjoying the sun and the fun and how you enjoyed the reclants and all that's going on in your neck of the woods because i always appreciate you showing up here every week and letting me tell you what's going on in my neck of the woods now uh, hopefully soon we can hang out if you remotely into wichita falls uh, area next month at the end of next month may 31st 7 p.m get you a couple tickets or three tickets or whoever you're gonna bring Mom and them, Granny and them, whoever, we're going to have a hoot of a time. And I have some of my stuff there, some of my merchandise. Not every shirt that I have, but I have a few there. And then uh, after party is going to be full of donuts. So you know it's going to be good. You know it's going to be good. I hope you're staying well, though. I really do. And I know I'm glad you joined me uh, on the Tab and Dillard podcast. If you can leave me a comment wherever you listen, I appreciate this. I read them. And it helps me to share them. Anytime you say nice things about my podcast, uh, folks will listen to you. They, you know, I can say all day, hey, I sure would like you to listen to my podcast. And they're like, yeah, who don't want me to listen to their podcast? But if you say, hey, you know what? Uh, you should probably go try to listen to Tabman's podcast. They listen to you. They listen to you. Folks trust you. So anyhow, if you want to leave a comment or leave a rating, all of that helps. It really do. I appreciate you. And uh, like I said, a week from today, I got a big old announcement. Big old announcement. And if you listen to the podcast, there's a good chance you're going to be the first one to ever hear it. Uh, so that's that. Just uh, check out the show notes today. If you do have a question for me that you want me to include on the Q&A in a few weeks, uh, start sending them in. It's time. Ready, set, go. And you'll see it in the show notes today. All the ways to get in touch with me, like I said. So I appreciate y'all joining me. I've had a good week. I'm looking forward to the week ahead. I hope y'all's doing well too. And hey, if you ain't started in a paddle boat and ended up in a Chevy Cobalt with a sick doggy this week, you having a pretty good week. Me, I'm Tappin Dillard. This is a Tappin Dillard podcast. Till next time, y'all guys. We'll see you later. <laughs>